process a supply invoice in your advisor agreement, go to the Supplier option, top of your screen, and select New Entry. This is your entry screen for the details. If you have the invoice saved on your own system, you can click on here and then drag the invoice into the screen. Alternatively, if you've emailed the document into your system, your advisor agreement, then you can go to Documents, locate the invoice, and then select Supply Invoice. That will place the invoice in the viewing panel to the right-hand side of your screen and bring up exactly the same entry boxes. So, first thing is your supplier. Start typing the name and it will appear, or if you're not sure, then you can go into the search list. Enter the invoice number. If you click on the invoice here, it will bring up and expand the details. So enter your invoice number. If you're operating different numbering series, then you can make your selection from here. Enter the booking date and then enter the invoice date if that is different. Enter the amount, total amount of your invoice. We go down to the bottom here. If you're selecting a payment type, you can do that from here and enter the bank account details and any message. The system will prompt you for the creditor control account, which automatically places the total amount in. If you do need to split this invoice down into different payment terms, you might be paying 50% in one month and the balance in another, you can do that here by selecting new line. Finance code, this is the code that you're going to charge the invoice to. So if you know the code, you can start typing it either by number or by the name. If you're not sure, then you can again go to the search field. Enter a department if you're using departments. You can add additional text and then enter the net amount. The system will calculate the VAT for you based on that amount. If you need to split the net amount, then you can do. You can select another code and then put the balance in there. And that will also enable you to select a different VAT code should the invoice be split VAT. The system will calculate the VAT for you down here. And it will also balance the invoice for you here. When you're ready, you can click Save. That will take you to the listing area of your screen where you can see the invoice sat here waiting to be booked. So if you need to edit that invoice at all, you can click on the edit icon and go back into it. From this screen, you can book the invoice and that will then link this document to this invoice permanently. So you can book it from here or you can go back to your listing screen. And so if you have several invoices to book, if you click on this box here, it will place a tick in all of the invoices that are in draft. Alternatively, you can make your selection and simply book just one and then book selected. And that will then book your invoice to the appropriate codes and it will then place a tick here to say that that invoice has been booked.